Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Bald Man Building an Airplane. This is RV-14 Ailerons, video number two. And in this video, we are going to be deburring and doing the pre-assembly of, well, uh, both ailerons. We're going to kind of... Yeah, deeper the nose ribs, um, the main ribs where they need to be deburred, and then I'm gonna sit here and scratch my head. At, uh, I'm mostly gonna flute those a little bit, apparently, to line the holes, um, and then it's gonna be scratching my head, figuring out how assembly is gonna go. Um, Basically, it's the same as the flaps where you build one as a mirror image of the other. Um, but with the brackets that go on the outside, when you put the parts on the table to figure out how to mirror them, it kind of gets a little bit, I don't know, at least in my mind, it got a little squirrely. So it was... Uh, Uh, I decided it was time to take a look at it, and I don't know. I, I did assemble them both on the table, um, facing each other in a mirrored fashion, similar to how I did the flaps. Um, but I still second-guessed myself several times on the attach brackets because I wanted to make sure I got them right. I didn't really want to have to... Um, I don't have like however thick aluminum that is it's probably like three thirty seconds inch thick or something like that and I didn't want to cut and match drill and create new ones nor wait for a new order from vans for those parts so I was trying to be careful to make sure I got the uh, the right part set up the right way for both the right and the left ailerons So this is just a lot of sort of like, okay, well this one goes here and that one goes there and then if this one goes here and that one goes there, then this one's for the right side and this one's for the left side. Um, I don't know why I had so much trouble with mirroring it. Um, they kind of tell you how to do it in the plans, but um, I have to like hold something sometimes to get a grasp on what you know what it's doing so I think we also do some riveting of the brackets onto some of the ribs the nose ribs yeah yeah here we go we countersunk and then it's going to be probably bring the squeezer out to do some uh some bracket dimpling. Um, two things about these uh, brackets. Number one, um, on the inboard, yeah, on the inboard nose rib, there's a bracket. Those brackets can all be assembled um, just fine. On the outboard, uh, you need a really skinny bucking bar if you assemble the outboard bracket to the main rib um, before or right away so I actually held off on that until way later in the assembly process um, wait a minute I didn't attach any of this stuff yet because I'm priming it all gosh yeah so I'm just mocking it up right here yep 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 I was just mocking it up to understand how it was going to set up and then which parts goes with which um, aileron before I disassemble it all. And that's another reason that why I was trying to be sure I mocked it up correctly, even though, uh, hint, hint, I screwed up the mock-up and I messed up the one of the... Well, I didn't mess up one of the nose ribs. I put the wrong middle nose rib in this flap and or in this aileron, and I found out later when it was really tough to assemble. But 
Anyway, next one we're going to continue with uh, initial assembly and some more deburring. So we'll see you then. Thanks for stopping by.